Digital cave survey is increasing in popularity with the advent of the DistoX and DistoX2 electronic survey instruments. Some advantages over analog instruments and paper sketches include potentially faster and more accurate surveys, a reduction in certain types of survey blunders, greater flexibility and freedom in the location of survey stations, especially high angle shots, reduced impact in certain types of delicate passages, increased safety and comfort for the instrument reader, elimination of the manual process of drawing line plots with a protractor and the associated errors, and the potential of drawing a full day of survey on a single digital page. However, there are some negatives as well. Electronic devices run on batteries, and a means of replacing batteries or recharging them needs to be considered. They are more delicate and susceptible to damage from impacts, or water, than traditional survey gear, which could lead to the premature end of a survey trip or the loss of critical survey data. The equipment is also more expensive. And in many cases, the survey and sketch data is more difficult and time-consuming to archive following a cave trip. The software can be difficult and confusing to use and may be incompatible with the surveyor's or cartographer's preferred desktop cave survey software. And it is generally acknowledged that sketches tend to be less precise, frequently less detailed, and usually of lower overall quality. For electronic cave survey, you will need a digital instrument for reading survey measurements and a portable computer for collecting that data and recording a sketch of the cave passage. The only real option at this time for the generation of digital cave survey data is the Disto X2. There have been other instruments such as the Shetland Attack Pony and Ducey, but these were harder to use and are no longer available. There are some professional survey devices, but these are heavy, not rugged enough for cave use, and very expensive. On a Disto X2, with a single press of a button, it collects all three required measurements between stations, that is, distance, azimuth, and inclination, and it is capable of doing this very precisely and accurately. It also has a built-in Bluetooth chip that allows the data to be communicated to an external computer for archiving or for calibration of the instrument. The Disto X2, depending on the exact model and cave conditions, may be capable of taking measurements of up to 100 meters in length. It has an internal rechargeable battery that can record up to 1,000 measurements on a single charge, and it has built-in memory that stores the last 1,000 readings. It can be programmed to measure standard front sight readings or corrected back sight readings, and the latest firmware contains a triple shot check function that recognizes when three repeat measurements are taken and provides validation that these shots are within a reasonable tolerance. Additionally, the unit itself is reasonably small, light, rugged, and water resistant. There are a wide variety of portable computers that can be used with the Disto X2, and there are many cave survey applications designed for use on Windows Mobile, Standard Windows, Palm OS, and Android operating systems. The main reasons for using a portable computer with the Disto X2 are to install firmware upgrades to the Disto, to collect, process, and upload calibration coefficients to the Disto, to download and archive raw survey data, to display an active line plot of the survey, and to allow sketching of plan and profile view walls and passage details. Generally, you will want to begin by deciding what application you want to use, which will determine the operating system required to run that application, and then you can research the variety of devices available for that operating system. Regardless of the software or hardware platform, there are a number of features you'll want to consider when shopping for a device. At a minimum, the device needs to have Bluetooth capability, and the hardware and drivers need to allow communication with the Disto X2, and not all Bluetooth-enabled devices will work. Unfortunately, there isn't a comprehensive list of compatible devices. You should either buy a device that has been demonstrated to work by other cavers, or buy a device through a channel that allows returns in case it doesn't work. If you're going to use the device for digital sketching, then you'll need to consider battery life, the ability to swap batteries, or determine how to charge the device while underground. There are some older devices, some Palm devices in particular, that have volatile memory, and this should be avoided. Some of these units have Bluetooth, and work with the Disto X2, but if the battery dies, then all data and applications are lost. Many newer Palm devices and virtually all Windows Mobile or Android devices use non-volatile memory. It is useful, but not necessary, to use a device with an SD or microSD card slot. This can be used to manually transfer applications and survey data between devices, rather than relying on synchronization over USB or wireless, which can be complicated and glitchy. If you intend to use the device for sketching, then it will also need to have an active digitizer that is compatible with the stylus. Touch-only screens are not suitable for sketching. You'll also want to consider the size and weight of the device, and have a strategy for protecting it during a cave trip. 
Depending on the nature of the cave, you'll want to protect it from impacts and possibly have it fully waterproof. A large device like a tablet provides a larger screen to work with, but the bigger the device, the harder it will be to carry and protect. The largest device I would recommend is an 8-inch tablet, such as the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I've destroyed several portable computing devices on cave trips by either cracking the LCD screens or dropping them in water. I was able to work around these issues and avoid ending the trip and avoid any data loss, but it's a significant concern. Depending on the device being used and the conditions you will expose it to, you need to consider ways to protect it from damage. For some devices, there will be cases such as the Rhino Skin, Pelican, or OtterBox that will provide some impact protection both during travel and during the survey itself. Devices can also be stored in secondary boxes such as larger Pelican boxes or Darren drums for transport only, which is where the device will usually be at greatest risk. There are waterproof bags that still allow the use of a stylus, but many of these don't provide much impact protection. Whatever device you decide to use, search the internet and places like Amazon to see what's available to protect it. As mentioned, there are several cave survey applications available. All of them are designed for use on mobile devices to facilitate survey in a cave, and they are all meant as a means to get data out of the cave and into full-featured desktop survey applications such as Compass, Walls, Therian, Servex, or Visual Topo. Pocket Topo is a free application written by Beat Heap, the designer of the DistoX and X2 board. It runs on either Windows Mobile or standard Windows operating systems, as long as they have the version 2 or newer .NET Compact Framework installed. It has a simple and intuitive interface, and it has the ability to run calibrations, collect data from a Disto X2, and collect digital sketches. It has very limited options for data formatting and exporting. Station naming is limited to numbers only, following the convention used by Topo Robot, and data export is only enabled for Therian, Topo Robot, and Visual Topo desktop applications. Sketches can only be exported as DXF files. Most digital drafting programs can import DXF files but there's generally a time-consuming process required to do the import, adjust scale and line widths, move elements into the right layers, and save back out in the appropriate format for the drafting software. Origa is a free application written by Luc LeBlanc, which runs on Palm OS devices. It can be run on Android devices also if you buy and run StyleTap, which is a Palm OS emulator. If you like Origa and you already own an Android device, then this might be a consideration. But if you're going to buy a device specifically for cave survey and you want to use Ariga, then you might as well just buy a Palm device. Ariga has an almost unbelievable amount of functionality and compatibility with other cave survey software, but the very long list of features comes with a steep learning curve. It takes a while to figure out how to effectively use even the basic functions in the software, and if it isn't used on a regular basis, it's very easy to forget how to do things. There's a good and detailed user manual available, but it is very long. There's a separate Palm application also available from Luke for the Disto X2 calibration that uses the same algorithm developed by Beat Heap. TopoDroid is a free and ad-free application written by Marco Corvi that runs on the Android operating system. It contains functions for updating the Disto X firmware, calibration of a Disto X2 using the standard algorithm, in-cave data capture, and digital sketching. It has the nice feature of being able to change the level of complexity in normal mode, the software has fewer and more basic options that are easier to understand and use, but all the functionality to conduct and collect a cave survey are there. If desired, more features and options can be enabled by switching to advanced or expert modes. Cave is another free application that runs on the Android operating system. It is loosely modeled after Pocket Topo and is intended to be a similarly simple and intuitive data collection and sketching app. It uses the same Topo robot station naming convention and also has the ability to generate line plots for projected profile sketches, in addition to the standard extended profile. It can also export sketches in SVG format, which is much easier to manipulate in drafting programs like Adobe Illustrator. Look for other videos I'm producing that will go into greater depth on the use of Pocket Topo, Origa, TopoDroid, and Cave. These videos will also cover the use of the specific hardware, including Pocket PCs, Palm devices and Android devices. Thanks for watching, and please click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. 
Subscribe to learn about other videos on the topics of caving and cave survey.